Welcome to the channel everyone. Uh, today, working on the 6x6. Well, I guess the, the plow that is on the 6x6. This is a 72 inch KFI plow. I got the whole kit, mount, everything. And uh, got to use it a little bit in the last storm uh, we had. And it uh, seems to be a good little plow. Uh, I got a few parts here. Uh, to make it uh, better, I guess in my eyes, I picked up uh, two of these kits. They're calling them uh, plow side shield. Like I said, I got two of them, one for the left, one for the right. And basically it is just a, a plate. I'll show you these. It's just a plate that goes on each side and it's going to help contain the snow. Uh, I've said this before, i said it many times, that I would never run a plow without wings on them because they just make it so much more efficient. Uh, you can chase tailings forever uh, with, a, with a plow with no wings on it. I mean, you can just constantly lose snow and you can never really do a good cleanup job. That's why I like my V plow because it's kind of like a plow and then you can you can uh, put it in scoop mode and you kind of you have your your wings without actually having to put wings on a plow so I got my my plow up in the air this is going to help me uh, drill holes because you do have to drill holes in your plow um, safety first guys you can see I got some jack stands holding that up this plow is heavy and if it comes down on you or your, your arm or your leg or something um, it's not going to end well so just be safe when you're working around these these heavy uh, pieces of equipment. Um, in the instructions, you get these uh, patterns right here, and um, I've got to cut this in half because they have a passenger side, they have a driver's side, and they have places on here. You can see where you want um, to line this stuff up. Uh, on the plow and then they have the holes that you need to drill. Um, I believe um, you, the bottom hole is the the cutting edge bolt that that will hold one of them but you have to drill the middle one and the top one. Okay so got the uh, patterns on the plow, she got them taped up there. You can see this and it says driver's side. Uh, you line this up with the side of your plow. Um, this one here, you cut it. It says line up with the top of the wear bar. Um, if you don't have your wear bar on, you can line up your, your bolt here. Mine's already on, so uh, this is how I'm doing it. So I've already center punched uh, this hole right here. This hole right here, same on this side. I've center punched that hole and that hole. And this hole here, I'm just going to take this uh, wear bar bolt out and that's where the plate will bolt on the bottom side. So I'm going to drill these out and um, we'll get to assembling those side plates. Okay, so I'm going to use the, the center punch marks that I, that I made to drill the holes. I'm going to start out with a smaller drill bit uh, to, to make sure I get them where they, where they need to be. Then I'm going to step up in size to uh, the size they need to be. Okay, so I've enlarged my holes to 3 8 Kind of seems like a big hole, but that's what they that's what they recommend. Got my plate here, and like I said, I got I got two kits. Uh, they're the same exact kit. They will do driver and passenger side, um, depending on how you mount the brackets, so they can go on both sides. 
A um, lot of guys will just do one side to control the snow um, one way. I'm going to put them on, on driver and passenger. On the plate here, you're going to notice there's a notch on one side and that is for the cutting edge. So you know that this is the bottom side. So once you know which is the bottom side, um, you got to decide which side it's going on, driver or passenger. Okay, so once you decide uh, which side you're going you're gonna to go on here, uh, you can put your, your brackets on the, on the right side of the plate. So you've got um, three different angled brackets. Now, they go in certain spots because they, they all have a different angle to them. So you're going to notice, don't go by the square hold end. You got to go by the round hole end. So this one here, the, the square shaped one, is going to go on the bottom. That goes on the bottom. The bottom, uh, that's going to go on your cutting edge hole. Okay, then you've got the... Um, round shaped one, that goes in the middle. Goes in the middle. And then you've got the, uh, the one that's shaped like that. And that goes on the top. That goes on your top hole. So, so it's going to fit up here like this. You want your little angle brackets on the outside. Okay, so once you've got this assembled uh, for the driver's side, this is what your plate's going to look like. Just like that. Okay, you want to leave these loose until you get them up here. So you're going to set it up here. You're going to find your holes to for all the the deals, and then you've got one bolt, one carriage bolt that's longer than the rest of them, and that's going to go on your cutting edge because you're going through the cutting edge and the brackets. So you need a longer one there. Then you're just going to put the bolts in the rest of the holes here. And this top hole, just like my other side, is a little difficult to get everything to go in for some reason. Not sure if their pattern is a little off or what, but a little difficult to get that top hole lined up. So once they're in place, you can cinch down going anywhere so there we go guys all finished up this thing should be a snow scooping monster now give you a look at the final install here
And these are thick. I mean, they're thick, heavy-duty plates. I don't see the brackets are thick. I don't see it uh, bending unless you really do something something bad with them. Um, and then you're probably going to twist something else. But uh, there's only one thing that I'm not really happy with is uh, you can see uh, the distance there uh, between the ground and the in the the wing there I might have to put right there just might have to take a piece of rubber or something make my own little rubber cutting edge or, or something there I just see um, snow spilling out right there and kind of being annoying but other than that I like them I think they're gonna do what I need them to do so there is a disadvantage to these side plates. Uh, the, the rolling action of the snow off to the side uh, is going to be uh, restricted, obviously, the, the, the plates are there. So you're not going to be able to roll the snow off to the side as well uh, with, with these plates on there. I'm not saying that you can't angle the blade. The snow will roll to one side. Uh, it's just going to be a little restricted with these plates. Uh, for what I do, I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, short pushes. That's what I plan to do with this thing. So the plates are going to work perfect uh, for my situation. So I guess that's going to do it for this one, guys. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed the video. I will see you.